a third opportunity for the fast men of the Giro Next Gen. A short and flat run from Bergamo to an expected sprint finish in Cremona. One categorised climb along the way and another possible opportunity for the fastest man to this point with two sprint wins already in the bank. Paul Manier of Sudal Quickstep to stamp his authority, although Tim Tutenberg of Lidl Trek amongst others, including Gil Gleva of UAE Team Emirates, would want to threaten the man in the red jersey. Another day in pink then for the race leader Jana Wida of uh, Lotto Destiny in the front row as they rolled towards kilometre zero and the flag dropped and got them underway in bright and breezy conditions. No real difficulties along the way, 139 kilometres and the uh, pink jersey just rolling off the front as the attacks began. Didn't take long before eventually the break of the day formed and it was a five rider breakaway who made it up the road including uh, one or two riders from the Italian squad, as well as a famous name in Alexander Vinokurov, one of two sons of Alexander Vinokurov himself. Tim Tutenberg looking relaxed back in the field as Sudal Quickstep did the majority of the work with Lotto Destiny in support and the five riders weren't given much of an advantage throughout the day. Inside 33 kilometres they had less than one minute. relaxed back in the bunch a relatively incident free run into the finish line 30k to go they still had 50 seconds and the intermediate sprint at Malio was the moment the Rossi from the Italian national team just rolled to the front and picked up the points at the final intermediate sprint of the day as the gap came down ever closer and with 16 kilometers to go there and he had 14 seconds Alexander Vinokurov started to look rounds as the bunch reared into view behind and the catch was imminent approaching 14 kilometers to go with 11k to go then Alexander Vinokurov himself tried to break free of the other four riders in the breakaway but a succession of different sprinters teams then moving to the front snuffed out the attack from the man from Astana Tudor Pro Cycling and uh, Lidl Trek at this point making sure that all the attacks that went off the front in the closing kilometers were ridden down as uh, five or six different teams sharing the work brought it back again with 1.9 kilometers to go for the inevitable bunch sprint. Into the final kilometer then it was a combination of Lotto Destiny, Sudal Quickstep and Lidl Trek who took it up. Lidl Trek then uh, with the lead out rider on the front as Sudal Quickstep switched. Paul Manier just surfing the wheels a little bit further behind. Stefan de Schutnir, uh on the front now from Lotto Destiny. It was Lidl Trek though and Tim Torn Tutenberg who opened up the sprint and very nearly made it to the line but Stefan Schutner managed to get the win ahead of the man from uh, Lidl Trek. Tim Torn Tutenberg frustrated again Lorenzo Conforti also very much in the mix though. What a victory for Lotto Destiny a stage win from Stefan de Schutner to go with their race lead. Brilliant victory then from the man from Lotto Destiny, the young Belgian, ahead of Tim Tom Tutenberg and Lorenzo Conforti in third place. An incident free day for the man in the pink jersey, Jano Vidar. Still leading by 34 seconds to Matthias Rondel. Paul Manier just about holds on to the lead of the points competition, but with a reduced advantage over Tim Tom Tutenberg. And the king of the mountain still on the shoulders of Jano Vidar of Lotto Destiny. And he leads the Best Young Riders competition as well. And there is no change in the Best Italian Rider either. That is still Florian Cagimini.